So today we are making Jamaican rice porridge. Not the most popular because it takes a bit more time, but it's one of my personal favorites, especially when I was younger. And it's been years since I've had a nice hot bowl of rice porridge. Jamaicans enjoy porridge mostly for breakfast, but a lot of people whip up a pot for dinner or even a late night snack. This is the first video in my Jamaican porridge series and I will be attempting to hit some of that nostalgia with a delicious bowl of Jamaican porridge. Alright, let's get into it. I'm starting with a cup of plain long grain white rice. I'm just going to wash this once. You might see recipes saying to wash this until the water runs clear so the rice is less sticky. But one good wash is fine in my experience. Go ahead and drain that off. If you see a grain with the hull, just get rid of it. Next, add 4 to 5 cups of water to the rice, or if you really want to up the richness, use a combination of milk and water. This is going on medium heat to start cooking. This might take 30 to 40 minutes to cook to the doneness we want. Five minutes of boiling and the greens are just starting to absorb water. While that's going, let's talk spices. Cinnamon is a must in any Jamaican porridge. Powdered cinnamon is good, but it darkens the porridge and is sometimes annoying to work with. Cinnamon sticks add really good cinnamon flavor, but you want to add this really early when cooking because they release flavor slowly. My favorite way to add cinnamon, and this is how Jamaicans traditionally did it, is with fresh cinnamon leaves. It adds a lighter, more delicate, complex flavor than the powder. I get it at the farmer's market, but depending on where you are, this might be a bit challenging to get. In which case, just go with the sticker powder. Still good. Two leaves will do, but you could use a couple more without overpowering the porridge with cinnamon flavor. This is nutmeg with the mace still on, it's the orange bits. Nutmeg mace add a lighter, more complex nutmeg flavor just like cinnamon leaves. It's optional but if you get fresh nutmeg with mace, just add it. I also want half a teaspoon salt and I will still be adding some grated nutmeg. About half a teaspoon should do, too little is always better than too much, so add in increments. Too much nutmeg will give your porridge a heavy bitter taste. This smells like Sunday morning. Reduce the heat and let that simmer for about 20 minutes. The grains are swollen and starting to break and fall apart, which is exactly what we want basically overcooked rice but i still want a bit of texture and mouthfeel next add a cup of coconut milk this is optional but i never skip coconut milk in my porridge about two tablespoons of vanilla i'm using the fake stuff mix that in this is almost done cooking but we don't want the rice and liquid to be separating like that i will fix that in a second but first, let's taste to see what needs adjusting. Alright, flavors are nicely balanced but it's kind of flat so I'm adding another pinch of salt. Could also take another half teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm also adding a teaspoon of rose water and a teaspoon of almond extract. Rose water and almond extract add some nice background fragrance but less is more with these two flavorings and they're optional so feel free to skip them all together. This is coming together nicely. Almost there but I'm going to give this another taste test to make sure we're good. Perfect. 
everything is nicely balanced and it's not flat like before a pinch of salt usually helps with that great it's time to thicken this traditionally a flour paste is used but i'm using cornstarch about a tablespoon i'm going to mix this with a little water to make a slurry and add gradually i like the flour paste for its taste and texture but it needs to be cooked for a bit longer cornstarch on the other hand thickens the porridge almost instantly so you can observe results immediately which i really like you don't lose much using cornstarch over flour so what I'm doing is adding the cornstarch gradually and checking the consistency. The liquid should be thick enough to hold the rice grains together but not too heavy. This is another benefit of using cornstarch over flour because it's easier to overshoot the thickening and flour makes the finished porridge a bit heavier. Instant oats is also a really good thickener. It can be blended and added so it's smooth and unnoticeable but most times I simply add a tablespoon or two. Alright, this is almost as thick as I want it, so I'm going to stop because this will continue to get thicker as it cools a bit. This is the sweet spot. I'm going to let this simmer for a little bit, about 5 or so minutes before I remove it. And in typical feed and teeth style, That's the thickness I like and this is so nostalgic. I'm going to add a sprinkle of cinnamon for presentation and flavor and I will sweeten this with sweetened condensed milk. If I wanted this to be dairy free or vegan, I could have used honey or sugar instead and it would still taste really good. Top that off with two cinnamon sticks for presentation and that's a Perfect bit of nostalgia from my early days. This looks so rich and creamy. It's smooth but it still has great texture and mouthfeel. I think the biggest reason rice porridge isn't more popular is because of its longer cook time. Imagine only having 30 minutes to cook in the morning. Quick oats and caramel and we keep it pushing. Alright, let's give it a taste test. Ooh, that's still nice and hot and it's reached the desired thickness. Nice, I already know this is going to be good. The rice grains are cooked really soft but there is still some texture. Yup, that's bomb. Could be a little sweeter for me so I'm adding a bit more condensed milk. This is so good and just how I remembered it. I will be making rice porridge more often but after I make all the other Jamaican porridges in this series. I might do banana porridge next but let's see so subscribe for that. Thanks squad for 22k subs and I will see you in the next one.